Right, just before we start, I apologize for the terrible quality of the video here. I usually am just a little square in the corner of the video with some gameplay at the front, but obviously there's no gameplay for this, so you guys are just going to have to put up with me in pixelated form. Right guys, hi, welcome back to the Chaos Zone. Today, I have a little bit of an idea to present to you guys, and uh, honestly, I think that this would be a considerable improvement to the Hearthstone that we know and love. Now, while Standard and Wild are great ideas on Blizzard's part, and they're certainly necessary to keep the game fresh in the long run, between each expansion and each influx of new cards, there's still going to be a time where the game is certainly far from fresh. Like now, for example. Of course these other droughts will be considerably shorter, but they will be similar in fact that we will still be complaining about how powerful particular cards are, or decks are, and we'll still know every single card in each viable deck out there by the end of it. Now, Tavern Brawls have gone a long way in keeping people interested in the game, as there's a crazy new way to play each week. But the problem with some of these is that they have a limited replayability before they get boring, and that they aren't available all week. But recently, these Tavern Brawls have been testing out the ability to restrict the deck building part of the game as opposed to the actual game itself. And this is what finally has prompted me to share this idea with you guys. It's fairly simple. The idea is to introduce a third format where each month there's a specific hand-chosen list of cards that are available for decks to be built from that month. Just to clarify, when I mean a hand-picked set of cards, I don't mean a very, very small number of cards. I, I mean it could range from just one expansion to all expansions, save a couple of cards. The fact that this set could vary so much is one of the things that would make it so much more enjoyable and different each month. And this format obviously would just have ranked and casual exactly the same as Standard and Wild. Now, in my opinion, one of the most enjoyable parts of the game is right after the expansion, where you queue up and you have absolutely no idea what you're going to be playing against. You come across loads of people playing unrefined janky decks while you're playing your own unrefined janky decks, and this is just so much fun. The aim of this new format would be to kind of incur this feeling, but not after each expansion, like in Standard but after each month, but perhaps to a lesser degree. An added benefit of handpicking the cards that are available each month is that the power level of each deck within the format can be kind of fine-tuned by disallowing certain cards. For example, if you take Secret Keeper and Mustard for battle out of Secret Power, then it becomes mildly worse. But unlike in Standard, the deck would still be playable but just at a lower power level. And this is so that other decks can compete, which would encourage a larger variety of decks to be played. Also, unlike Standard, less powerful and unproblematic cards are not being blanket removed just because they're a part of a more powerful set. And some of these cards or decks will be people's favourite. So, yes, you can play your Hobgoblin Flood Priest in Wild, but the power level of decks in Wild will be considerably higher, and it's just not fun to get stomped on repeatedly just for trying out a fun gimmicky deck. Another possibility for this format would be allowing players to use cards that they don't actually own, but just for that month. So, for example, giving every player the option to put Mechaneer Thermaplug in their decks, it would just be absolutely hilarious. Of course, these cards would have to display a visual effect in the collection while you're building the deck for this format. So some kind of maybe a green uh, highlighted area around it or something like that. So you don't confuse new players, of course. But giving new players access to these big, cool legendaries, if only for the month, would certainly feel really good. And it would encourage them to play and kind of mess around with things. So, 
Restricting the allowed cards and giving limited time access to other fun cards, these both promote deck building, something Blizzard are trying to encourage with their new deck recipes. And they encourage experimentation as opposed to net decking, which will ensure that the meta is certainly different and fresh each season. And with a fresher meta, laddering becomes considerably more enjoyable and more exciting as opponents and their decks are less predictable, and who knows, with all this experimenting, some viable decks that can compete in other formats might even be discovered. Now, I will admit that if certain interactions are overlooked for one reason or another, and uh, one specific deck rules the meta, then yes, for that month it will be miserable, but that's only for a single month, as opposed to however long it takes for the archetype of deck to rotate out of standard, or for the Blizzard to even nerf the card in Wild. And this also means that overpowered cards don't actually have to be nerfed. They can just be restricted from the format, so either specific cards that are key to the deck taken out, or the problematic card itself not allowed in the game mode. Which is very much in alignment with Blizzard's minimal interference policy. Because I, I certainly do agree that nerfing cards, it feels very bad and it often has unforeseen consequences on less powerful and more fun decks. So this format would become a kind of safe haven from unnerfed cards where sometimes even Tavern Brawl isn't safe. <coughs> Flame Waker. <laughs> so this format would also be considerably more friendly towards new players. So sets which players have bought packs for and they've invested time and gold to buy the packs and get the cards for, those cards won't get rotated out forever. They can keep using the cards without having to go into wild while they just get demolished by Dr. Boom or more powerful decks from veteran players. But then they're not forced to keep up with the new releases, which feels bad, in order to continue playing standard. These new releases would also be included in the third format, which does provide incentive for them to invest in the sets anyway. Now, I haven't decided on a name for this format yet, although I've considered a couple of options. So we've got maybe Haven, Forge, Bound, or perhaps Spark. Now, these represent the deck building kind of like new idea freshness of the format, and also the restrictions on doing so, and maybe the protection it offers. But let me know what you guys think. That That's all really I have to say. Put a comment on in either in the comment of this video on Reddit or something like that. And I would love to hear the feedback from you guys. And possibly, possibly, if this gets big enough, we might even it might even reach some higher up ears. And by the way, Blizzard, if you have any jobs going. Nah, just kidding, just kidding, right. I'm uh, not actually kidding, if you do have a job going with someone in that kind of position, then I'd absolutely love to work for you guys. But yeah, with that, okay, that is it, I'm done. See you guys in the next video. Death is close. You are already dead. Your courage will fail. Your friends will abandon you.